Welcome to this new video. Some time ago, Matteo Spinelli released a version 2 of his Comfy UI IP adapter plus custom nodes. And since the things you can do with them are pretty awesome, so I plan to do a small series on the new IP adapter version 2. I want to start by showing you how you can install the custom nodes and also give some help if you get into trouble and get error messages during the install process. It's not super complicated, but there are some little traps which you have to know. At first, we need to download the ComfyUI IP Adapter Plus from GitHub. I will link it down in the description. All the links will be down there. You have to download some models. You have to download the custom nodes itself and you have to rename some models and it's really important that you follow the right folder structure that is uh, the most common error when installing ip adapter plus let's go to the github it's already open here and go to the code button on the top and download the zip file if you are an advanced user and you're using your terminal i'm on linux here so this is quite common for me you can also do it by git clone and then the URL of the GitHub repository in your terminal, but it's also easy possible with simply downloading the zip file and then unzipping it into the custom notes folder of ComfyUI. You can also use a manager, but uh, during my install process, I stumbled upon some warnings in the GitHub discussions by Matteo telling that it's best to not use the manager and simply download it by hand and putting it into the custom notes folder. It's also important that your Comfy UI is updated and the newest version because Matteo is always developing for this new version. We have downloaded it and now we have to unzip it into the Comfy UI custom folder. So in your Comfy UI, in your Comfy UI folder, you find the folder custom notes and we have to put it there. This installation guide is based on the ComfyUI GitHub uh, package, which I downloaded some time ago. I'm not sure if this guide is also the same for some Windows binary packages or other ways to use ComfyUI, but I think the folder structure should be the same and also the way to install custom notes. So I'm here in the ComfyUI folder. There is this custom notes folder. I will open this and then I will past our unzipped folder, IP Adapter Plus folder into this folder. Simply unpack your Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus folder and paste it into your custom notes folder. So here we are, there are all the files. There is also a models folder. You should not use this one. We will use the models folder of the ComfyUI installation. And in there, we will create a folder called IP adapter. Uh, what's interesting here, there is a example folder with many different workflow examples. This can be really handy. This is done. We should be able to start up ComfyUI and load the IP adapter workflow. Here we go. All nodes loaded. So this is done for now. What is important now is there is a specific folder structure we have to follow for the models and there is a specific models which work together and some models don't work together. We need to download a lot of models now. There is a link on Matteo's GitHub which shows all models and I will open it now. If you scroll down the IP adapter uh, GitHub page, there is this installation point, and there you can see all the models you have to download. There are some more models for Face ID, which are listed here, some LoRa's and some community models, but for now we will concentrate on the clip vision models and the IP adapter models. You also see here the folder paths for the clip vision models and the folder paths for the IP adapter models. I already downloaded them and put them in the right folders. So on the right here, I go to the Comfy UI folder, then I go to the models folder and we need a folder IP adapter here. I already created it. And there are all the models. So download them, go to the ComfyUI models folder and create an IP adapter folder and put all the models in there which are listed under this line. 
So these models, the next models are the ClipVision models. When you download them, they are called model safe tensors, both. So you have to download them one by one and then rename them exactly like this. Download the first model, rename, download the second model and rename like this. If you switch those names and you rename the first model to the second name or other way around, you might get errors. So be sure if you get errors, check all the folder paths again and be sure that the uh, models, the ClipVision models have the right name. So if you have done so, if you have downloaded both models, we go to the models folder again and we need to create the ClipVision folder. It should be there already. And in this folder, we have to put the big G model and the H model. So if you have done so, you should be good to go. After downloading everything, we can load the IP adapter simple JSON file. We go to the ComfyUI custom notes folder, IP adapter examples. And there we have the IP adapter simple JSON file, which will show us a simple workflow. So as a quick example, I will show you a quick generation and transfer the style of a simple Van Gogh image to the default prompt, which is defined here in Matteo's example file. So let's load the Van Gogh Starry Night image, which is a typical Van Gogh image you all might know. We choose the standard 1.5 stable diffusion model for this example. We take the plus high strength IP adapter model and then uh, I will generate. So it should generate something like a close-up of a fierce warrior woman wearing a full armor at the end of a battle. This is a default prompt from Matteo. As we see, there is no woman here, so we have to decrease the weight of the IP adapter settings. Just put it to 60 and generate again. And there some face is coming into the picture. Let's put this control after generate to increment and the C to 1 and generate again. And there we go. This is only a quick example to show that everything is working. I will dive deeper into all the features IP adapter gives us in future videos. So I hope the installation guide brought you further and you had no errors after everything. If you have problems, put it into the description and I try to help you. I will also put some links into the description where you can find help and where you will find typical error descriptions so that you can debug your errors yourself. Find it all in the description below. And if you're missing something, please tell me in the comments. I hope to see you soon in the next IP adapter version 2 video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.